Hi, everyone. My name is Martin Saff. I'm an incoming professor at the Language Technologies Institute, and I'm starting in the fall of 2022. The goal of my research is to make AI and NLP systems human-centric, socially aware, and equity-driven. And specifically, I have three big research directions that I'm pursuing. The first one is um, detecting and mitigating social biases in language. And so uh, one of the reasons why this is really important is because language reflects and also shapes societal dynamics, including social inequality and bias. So for example, um, there's a lot of hate speech or toxicity directed at minority identities online, and this can actually shape people's perceptions of minority identities and then potentially lead them to produce more hate speech. And so for NLP systems or AI systems, this is important because there's a risk of them exacerbating social biases, especially if they don't take these social biases in their data into account. And so a classic example of this is that if you train a large language model to um, on a large amounts of text, you will um, inadvertently learn toxicity. And so these large language models are going to learn to generate and basically speak in very toxic ways. So in my research, I work on building better NLP systems to detect and reason about the social and power dynamics in language. And so an example of uh, this is uh, my work, Social Bias Frames, which basically aims to create a structured formalism to explain imp biased uh, implications in text. I also work on developing methods for mitigating social biases in language. So uh, I have some work called Power Transformer, where we um, develop a method for unsupervised controllable text debiasing and basically rewrite sentences so that they're less biased and specifically looking at gender bias there. In the future, I'm really excited about reasoning about harms and biases in social and conversational contexts. So uh, understanding how what was said before influences the toxicity or the harms or biases, and also how the identities maybe of the speakers uh, influences that. I'm also interested in helping humans work through their own biases. For example, understanding how we can help uh, you know counter speech, uh, hate speech with uh, counter speech or counter statements. And then also interested in measuring AI effectiveness for helping content moderation and make it better. The second thrust in my research is related to common sense reasoning for socially aware NLP. And so here, why this is important is that humans navigate social situations by making all sorts of common sense inferences about people's intents, their reactions, the sort of social norms that govern our interactions. And unfortunately, AI systems currently don't really have a good clue about any of these things, and, uh, but they do need this social awareness to be more effective in assisting humans. And so in my research, I build methods to distill and measure common sense knowledge um, or knowledge about common sense or social norms uh, in AI systems. So for example, I built benchmark uh, to measure uh, social intelligence of, of models called social IQA. And even the largest language models like GPT-3 are actually really bad at doing these kinds of tasks. I also develop algorithms uh, for AI systems to reason about social common sense and situations. And so some uh, new work that came out recently that I've worked on is um, actually using reinforcement learning to uh, align agents in a narrative-based text game uh, with social norms. And so having these agents behave more ethically or uh, normatively. In the future, I'm really excited about uh, developing AI assistance with social awareness and specifically looking at how we can use those to improve human communication and also uh, improve mental health, for example, by making people reflect and slow down a little bit. The last thrust in my research is on ethical AI for social science and social good. And here, this is important because AI systems and NLP systems are typically made by only few or some, but used by many more. Um, and this can result in very biased or unfair outputs just because people's perspectives were not all taken into account. And I also want to focus on uh, pursuing AI for good. So I want to develop systems that shift power to marginalized groups and reduce inequality. And so in my research, I develop methods to analyze and uncover biases in AI systems, for example, uh, racial biases in hate speech detection. I also focus on developing algorithms for mitigating biases using both AI techniques as well as social science insights um, to debias, for example, hate speech detection systems. And in the future, I'm really excited about uh, developing even better models for model debiasing, potentially using counterfactual reasoning or uh, causal methods, as well as reinforcement learning, and also bringing in uh, more uh, human computer interaction and psychology inspired perspectives for studying um, how people of different values and different identities are going to react to our NLP models and concepts. Thank you so much.